Interesting story here. Uh, what this man is seen stuffing in his pocket is a bird worth $2,500. So police are now working to track him down. Action News reporter Walter Perez, he's live for us right now in Burlington, New Jersey, with the search for that bird, Walter, and also the thief. That's right, Shari. I'm outside the Bird Paradise shop in Burlington, New Jersey, where the robbery took place this past Monday afternoon. So far, no arrests in this case, but there is some very clear surveillance video of the bird being stolen. And now police and officials here from Bird Paradise are hoping someone will recognize these bird thieves. We're devastated. Zena Singer from Bird Paradise in Burlington City is talking about the theft of his sunset lorikeet, a theft that was recorded on surveillance video. An individual walked in the store, took a bird, uh, put it in his pocket, and walked out. He was with a female companion. The suspects then drove away in this older model Nissan Altima. Singer says it's bad enough that someone would steal a bird, but this lorikeet is only three months old and survives on a very strict diet. If that bird does not have access to nectar, it will not survive very long. It will not eat any pellets. It will not eat any nuts. It will not eat any seeds. It's strictly a nectar diet. Not to mention that bird is valued at $2,500, which means the people responsible are in some serious trouble. Being that the bird is over $500, it does create it uh, as a um, as a felony charge here in, in the state of New Jersey. So this is definitely a crime, not a, a misdemeanor or a disorderly person. Still, officials from Bird Paradise say they are willing to overlook the fact that the suspects committed a felony if they do the right thing. If we can get the bird back, we won't even ask questions. We just want the bird back. No questions asked if somebody would return the bird. And so, once again, the folks here at Bird Paradise say they will not pursue charges if the bird is returned to them unharmed. If not, and they're arrested by police, they face the prospect of two to five years in prison if convicted. Reporting live from Burlington, New Jersey, Walter Perez, Channel 6, Action News. Rick. Walter, thank you.